Hey, what's up, folks? It's me, Sonny T, back at you with another podcast from Marketers Exclusive. Today, we're going to be talking about the start that we've been doing a series of um, the three core uh, marketing elements of uh, marketing, uh, three core elements of marketing. The next thing we talked about was persuasion. And today, I'm going to start trying to putting it together for you to make you understand or excuse, not make you understand, but starting to see if you can understand where I'm coming from here. So don't forget to come join the squad at funnelhackerpro.com, Stealthy Millionaire on Instagram, Funnel Hacker, or excuse me, podcast from marketers on YouTube, Billionaire Vids on Snapchat, Billionaire Vid on Twitter, podcast from marketers.com. A lot of guys ask me, where can I go see the rest of your shit? Right here at podcastformarketers.com. There's a free MP3 player. You need to pay for your fucking shipping. And I am, and I do have a social media marketing agency course that kicks the Cry Lopez course right in the fucking pants because it's much more than that. You learn how to be a media buyer. Smash that thumbs up, man. Let me know you really like the fucking video and sub. Fuck him. Subscribe to the channel. If you like the content, I promise I won't waste your time. I do videos every day. Boom. Except for Sunday sometimes, right? Let's get down to the class. So um, today, this is really the order of importance. But before I tell you about that, um, I wanted to tell you about um, the smart um, marketing funnel over here. These guys are always asking. Now, again, I say this every time. Yes, you can use this for your social media marketing agency. And in fact, today, this should be your presentation. This right here, the game that I've been giving you guys lately is, you know, if you guys notice, sometimes I give you very beginner stuff, right? And then sometimes I give you the big boy shit. And the reason why is because some people are more advanced in their marketing than others, or some just flat out don't know. And this should be the core of your marketing. But what I'm giving you now is a step above what everybody else will tell your clients, right? And this is what you need to know. Because a lot of your clients don't know the difference between marketing and sales, right? And so you need to be able to tell them exactly what it is that you can do for them. Now, for the other marketers out there, like affiliate marketers, you need to understand what your order of importance is for your marketing message, right? And so first, first of all, I wanted to let you know that there is a difference. You've heard me say this before between a front end funnel, okay, which is marketing, and a back end. Okay, so now, in your front end marketing, most large marketing companies, this is where they put the cream of the crop. They put the best marketers right here in the front end marketing, right? The best of the best. And the reason why is because the front end marketing uh, funnel is exactly where it's hardest to acquire the customer. They don't know who you are. They don't know, like, and trust you. Everybody knows that, right? They don't know, like, and trust you. They don't believe that you are who you say you are. And you haven't proven anything to them yet, right? So those are the hardest people to convince to get in and do business with you, okay? Now, the front-end marketing, the sole purpose of a front-end marketing funnel is to acquire, oh, acquire even sunny, new clients or customers, okay? And this is just the front end, right? All you're trying to do is acquire the most customers as for more, as the most expensive as you can. You wanna, the, the one that pays the most for the client, uh, clients wins the game. Okay, so to give you an example, um, I get a lot of clients from my YouTube channel, right? Um, and people come into my, you know, my funnel, people come into my, um, my group and so on and so forth, right? But the guy that's actually paying big money, like $10 and $20, like these Frank Kearns and the people that you see running videos over the top of my video, 
if I don't run any ads, those guys are doing way better than I am because they're paying the most money, right? Now, when I run ads, if I'm only willing to spend $2 for a customer and Frank Kern is willing to spend 4 or 5 well, he has more ads out there and he'll probably get more customers than I will, right? So that's the name of the game, to acquire new customers. The back end of the funnel is basically to market to existing customers, right, and improve the lifetime of the customer, right? The customer lifetime. That's what the back end of the funnel is, okay? The entire time, that's where your profits are coming from. You're not trying to make any money here, right? Where your money comes from is here. This is where the dollar signs come from, is your back-end funnel. And this is the easiest part of the funnel. These people know you. They've already done business with you. They believe you're in a position of authority. They believe that you're giving tons of value for when they do buy something from you, and they believe in your product, okay? Now, there's something I wanted to show you about the difference between a business and a promotion, right? And so here's where a lot of your clients and a lot of marketers get shit twisted, right? And here lately, I've had my own run-in with affiliate marketing, okay? So when you have, and the only thing that you have are affiliates, okay? And joint ventures, okay? And people that are pushing your product, This is what you'll see in your graph when it comes to making money. You'll see spikes, right? And then you'll see another spike. And you see another spike. These right here, this ugly color. Oh, not pornos. Not pornos in here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not pornos, guys. These are, <laughs> these are promos, right? You don't have a business. Now, what happens if these affiliate marketers and joint venture partners decide they don't want to push your, your product anymore? Are you not the new flavor of the month, right? Then the, even these spikes go away. Okay, and you don't have any control over your business at all, right? You you just, all you have is a promotion. That's all you have. Oh, that's black. No wonder it's not writing sunny. Here's the white one now. You don't have a business at this point, right? But when you understand a front end and a back end funnel, this is exactly what you should be explaining to your clients. Because what they're doing is they're spiking and they're doing promotions, right? Instead of having a constant steady flow of clients and customers, you want a steady flow, right? Well, we do like that flow of customers and how you do that is by acquiring new customers and you can turn it on and turn it off all you want to now remember this is the hardest part of marketing right here this isn't the easy part but we're going to make this easy when i show you how to do this funnel after a series of videos. I don't do these videos all the time because not everybody's on this level. But for the guys that are on this level, I will be doing some more series of these videos so you understand how you can start a nice, gentle, steady flow of customers and clients that come through your funnel. How you should be doing this is you should always, in the beginning of your funnel, right? This is the top of your funnel right here. This is where your front end marketing goes, right here, right? And this is, you know, this is all your, your Facebook and your, your YouTube, yada, yada, yada. This is where your front end marketing goes right here. This right here is where existing customers are. These are hot already, right? 
And the beautiful thing about it, right, is that your copy can be weak at this point. It doesn't matter because they already know who you are. So now down to the to the to the whole like um, uh, reason for this video. And I just fucked up my whole shit, right? So it's all right, though. Let's clean this up. Just fuck this right up. All right. So now I wanted to talk to you really quickly about the order of importance to where you should be putting the most of your intention, attention, excuse me. So order of, whoa, what's that right there? That's weird. Okay. So I don't know and I don't care. So order of importance. And this is really important, right? So the number one most important thing that you need to have for your clients or for your marketing effort is the list, right? Your audience. This is the number one thing that you need to pay attention to. All right, we'll even underline it here in red. This is the number one thing that you need to pay attention to in your order of importance in your marketing funnel. If you're talking to the wrong people, if you're trying to market uh, jujitsu uh, training to grandmas, you can have the best marketing funnel on the planet. You can have the best copywriters, Dan Kennedy, or even Gary Halbert has come from the dead to write your copy. And you're the best jujitsu dude on the planet, marketer dude. It would not matter if you start marketing to 60 year old grandmothers who are not into jujitsu, but they're into knitting. Okay. Right. If you market to this, to these people, you're a loser. That's it. And I don't care how good even your offer is, right? If you have the right off audience and you could have the weakest sales copy there is, and it would still work. But with the wrong audience and the wrong list of people, you just might as well forget it. And that is the most important, right? Because if you pulled up a taco truck to a bunch of people that want pizza, you could have the best tacos on the planet, but they're just not coming to your fucking truck. Okay. The next thing, and this is really important, and I talk about this even in my free video series, and I know people don't even pay attention to that free video series that I give away in, my, in the emails, right? If you're not getting that, um, well, you're just fucking missing out, right? Because this is huge. It's called the big idea, and what this is is your marketing message, and it's not your offer. It is the idea behind why people are going to purchase from you, okay? Okay. It's the big idea of what this is, right? And to give you an as example, because people don't really know, right? So uh, let's go here. Let's go. Let's go. It's the marketing message, okay? So to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, um, exercise is exercise, right? Jack LaLanne or um, what's that dude name? Um, uh the dude that just commented up, Richard Simmons, he just came up missing, right? Uh, he's just not in, in the limelight anymore. But anyways, um, the reason I'm naming these people, because these people are kind of just like vanilla, plain rapper exercise people, right? But why did the, the P90X do so well? Right? Because they came up with the big idea that you got some type of muscle, oxygen, memory, something or another. And they really explained to you why this is different. Why this, this is going to work for you this time. They really explain that, right? They tell you what's different now and why the P90X, which is the big idea. This is your marketing message right here, right? Apple came out with an iPhone, right? Cell phones were not new at that point. But why was the iPhone different? It was the marketing message behind the phone that sold you everything. It's not, if they just told you they had a cell phone, that'd be blue vanilla wrapper. It, it, you know, just plain generic phone. It doesn't matter. But it's the experience and the marketing message, the big idea behind the whole thing that sold you the entire shit, okay? So that's the second most 
important thing in your marketing funnel. And I'm gonna show you guys how to construct a marketing message and the big idea one of these days, <laughs> okay? The number three item of importance, order of importance, the number three item in your list is gonna be the offer, okay? And you need to be able to construct an irresistible offer, right? You can have the shittiest copy. You can have the shittiest VSL, the, shit, the shittiest sales letter. It doesn't matter. If you construct an irresistible offer, right, that people just can't refuse, everything else could be weak, right? With the exception of this, we already know that this list and this audience can't be weak, right? But everything else could be weak, but the offer, as long as you have a strong offer, an irresistible offer that people cannot refuse. And I'll tell you how to construct an offer as well, but you gotta have an offer that people can read. It's not just your product either. It's everything all together, okay? It's what they're getting. It's, it's, it's the whole idea behind it. It's the idea behind the P90X. What am I getting? What is going to be the result of what happens after I use your product? That's all a part of the, of the offer, right? What happens after I buy that new iPhone 8 or the new Samsung Galaxy 8 or whatever? That's, that is a part of your offer. And remember, we talked about the emotional strings and why people buy. It's the entire marketing message, okay? And that's what comes off, or comes off next. Now, I want you to know also, when you come up with a good offer, you could just change the offer on any marketing funnel and change it to something awesome and triple your income. I've done it. Number four is what I call the marketing argument. And you guys heard me say this before, right? It's the marketing argument. And what this is, is remember, I told you that you need claims and then you need to bag up those claims with proof. Okay. And then we need to sandwich it with, <laughs> sandwich it, right? With Benny's. Okay. And remember, it's Benny's, Benny's claims proof. This is your marketing argument or your marketing sandwich. All right, if you want to call it that. And this right here comes right after the offer, right? So you make the art the offer and then you make your claims, your proof, your benefits and the benefits of the benefits. Then you come back again and you do it again. Claims, proof, benefits and benefits of the benefits. Remember we talked about this and you sandwich it all together. So you got to be talking to the right people. You got to tell them about your big idea. You got to make them an offer they can't refuse. And then you need to argue to them why they can't refuse it. Are you guys seeing how this is building out right now? I'm hoping that you guys are understanding this, right? And the last thing that you would think is supposed to be the first thing is the copy. You see people all the time, man, spending hours upon hours upon hours. I once, once heard one guy say it took him six months, right? Sometimes I hear some of the copywriters said they took 18 months to write out four, 40 bullet points, right? Because a lot of people like bullet, part market, bullet point marketing, right? 40 bullet points. They didn't write any copy, but they wrote bullet point after bullet point after bullet point. And that sounds asinine to me. The copy, and I know this to be true, is the last thing of the importance of everything. You could almost say anything as long as you have an awesome off, uh, offer and you come with a brilliant marketing uh, uh, argument, right? As long as you come with that marketing sandwich and an offer, the copy could almost be non-existent. And I've done that before. I've had dummy copy. I've tested it before. I've had dummy bullet points that had actual, absolutely nothing to do with what I'm offering and what's on my uh, video sales letter. The, the, the bullet points mean absolutely nothing. And I get sales all the time. And why is that? It's because my offer is irresistible. They can't refuse the offer. So none of that other shit matters, 
right? And once I come with an argument and I, I come with claims and I come with proof and I tell them the benefits of the benefits and hit those desires of their des secret desires, then it doesn't matter what I'm saying. So you don't need to spend so much time here. You need to spend all your time here. This is what a big mistake I see people making. They have the wrong customers for what they're trying to do, right? And their ideas suck. They're, they're fucking, we had somebody talk about the other day about um, uh, marketing in bloody waters, bloodied waters, right? And they have this book called The Blue Marketing Strategy or something like that. I have to get you guys a title. But it talks about having, you know, creating your own market or creating your own niche or a piece of the market, right? But when you come with a big idea, no one can steal that. Right. No one can take live in La Vida Loca. Right. Nobody can take that. It's already done. And it's different, isn't it? Nobody can take my 80 for 80, 80% 80 more information for 80% less than everybody else in the market. Right. That's my whole fucking shit. No one can take that. It's a big idea and it's huge. And I deliver the goods. I give people an offer they cannot refuse. I give them claims, proof with testimonials. Right. Benefits and benefits of the benefits. Oh, look at all of that. Right. And my sales copy is weak. My video sales letters really are not all that brilliant. Right. Because I pay more attention to who I'm talking to you guys. Right. I come up with big ideas. Right. Live in La Vida Loca. And then I give you an offer you can't refuse. I put together some kick ass material for a fraction of the cost of the rest of the market. But not only that, I deliver kick-ass information, right? I'm not just tooting my own horn here. I'm not schlonging myself. I'm just giving you an example of what I do, okay? Because you don't need to listen to what I say. You need to watch what I'm doing. That's the most important part, right? So in the order of importance, and this is when you're outlining things to your prospects, this is exactly how you should... Lay it out because most of them don't know this. Most of them don't even understand this. This is million dollar shit right here. This is advanced marketing. I'm telling you now, the average person, the average 15 year old, the average 16 year old, people your own ages, right? The average 16 year old, the average high schooler doesn't understand anything I'm telling you. And if you want to leg up in the market, if you want to knock off clients, over and over and over again, this is your presentation. Coffee break. <sighs> <laughs>